drop as soon as I line you up. Who, me? Somebody. Who, me? My kid, the death ratio is going to be like negative 25. After school, my typical afternoon, I come home, probably get a hot pocket or something, maybe some ramen noodles. I come down to my lair. Okay. And then I game. I get on Xbox Live, start talking some trash, start going crazy. I'll do that for about mm, six, seven hours and. Mom will come downstairs, it's time to eat. <laughs> Annoying. So, go up and I eat, spend family time or whatever. Then after family time, I come back downstairs and go at it. It's my typical afternoon. I feel that Josh spends way too much time playing video games instead of doing homework. His grades do show that. And he also doesn't do any chores around the house. So all he does is obsess about playing video games. He has also took up the chore now of playing online, which even makes it worse. Forget mom in the trash. Sniper training week. Because now he has friends all over the world that he can play with 24 hours a day, which even makes his obsession even more so of an obsession. Josh obviously spends too much time uh, playing video games without a doubt. You know, you never know how much time you should spend it. You don't want to, uh, you know, curtail it completely. But on the on the second hand, you have to, you know, have some type of moderation there. The only problem is with Josh is he doesn't know how to moderate, and that seems like to be with mostly with the kids and friends his age. They will stay up and play 24 hours a day if they could, and they do. Sometimes on the weekends when they all get together, that's what they do 24 hours a day. They would probably do it seven days a week if you'd let them. And it seems like it just that's all they even talk about. That's the only conversation they have is in their games, how many kills they had, how many this they had, or whatever. And it seems to take over their whole life. I spend too much time playing video games. It's really an opinion. There's really no right or wrong answer. This is my life, not yours. If I want a game, then I'll game. That's like saying, oh, you work seven hours a day. That's seven hours of your life you'll never get back. Well, at least I'm having fun doing what I'm doing, you know? So if I'm having fun, that's really all that matters. That's, that's what life is about. It does seem like Josh's grades do drop at times whenever well, they pretty much drop all the time because he's been playing video games for I don't know how long. Even at school, he says his teachers call him Halo Head. So that must mean he's talking about video games at school even and probably not paying attention to his lessons like he should. So I think we have a major issue. When I'm at school, I don't really focus on school. I mean, seriously, who does? Who wants to be there? No one, okay? So, a lot of times I'll be thinking about Halo, and my teachers, they all know that I'm basically God's gift to gaming. And so, they give me nicknames like Halo Head and Alien Killer. But, uh, if I got an assignment or something, like a paper, then I'll write it on, like, the Master Chief or something. And then they try to tell me, like, I can't write my assignments on video games. Like, they're not real. I'm like, yeah, they're real. You only bring in, bring you in the disc tomorrow at school. God, you're stupid. Heavy fighting continued throughout the night as U.S. Marines continued to push towards the capital city in pursuit of Khaled Al Assad. Sporadic fighting can be heard as the bulk of Al Assad's forces fall back towards the presidential palace. Command, this is Lieutenant Vasquez. Okay, I think these video games, the violence in all the games, and the killing and the shooting do affect kids' views of the real world. And it really doesn't help with all the video and the news media on the war now in Iraq. They just kind of think this is normal, everyday behavior. When they get desensitized to people being killed, and they think, oh well, no big deal, because on the video games, that's all they do is shoot people up, blow their heads off, blood splatters, it's just kind of messy. I would absolutely agree with the... Uh the comment that the kids are desensitized to uh, uh, a current events and things going on because of the video 
uh, being shot around the world and the video games being so realistic today. I don't think there's any doubt about it. When Josh gets, well, he's always obsessed with video games, but when they get a little out of hand, we try to kind of curtail it a little bit because when I get his grades or I check on his grades and they're not like they should be, I do try to punish him by taking away his video games. I put his controllers in my car and his little guitar from um, Guitar Hero. That's another thing that he likes to play. And so I did take those, put in my car, and he didn't know where they were at, so he couldn't play. But then he doesn't even address it like it's not a big deal. So he acts like he doesn't even care. Well, the thing is, Josh is 18 years old. Uh, I think you have to treat him like an adult. Uh, and you don't want to uh, micromanage him like he was uh, 8 years old. No, you can't have ice cream before, before uh, uh, dinner. Uh, but on the very same token, you have to instill uh, the ideas uh, that you know the video games come afterwards and, and when everything's taken care of. One thing about video games occupying uh, so much of his time, uh, Josh is a pretty good uh, guitar hero player. Uh, what's that worth? Well, you're a pretty good guitar hero player. I have to wonder if he had spent that much time learning to play the real guitar, uh, if he could actually play. Um, and he'd have that skill or talent for the rest of his life. He's just jealous because Josh is better than he is. Well, that's true. Since Josh is 18, he is going to be going off to college this fall. And knowing how he usually does with his high school career or even the rest of his career and his grades, his Xbox is not going to be his friend at school. His Xbox is not going to go with him to school. I'm sure he will find other friends who have it and try to play, but at least it won't be as convenient as being in his own room. If he gets through his first uh, semester, things look good, then we'll look at the situation then and maybe consider allowing him to take the Xbox to school. Um, but if the grades are poor or he's not taking care of the things he needs to take care of, uh, I don't think there, it's going to be an issue at all. I think uh, it's going to stay here in Marion. My parents are not letting me take my Xbox to college, which kind of makes me mad. Forget them. I'm taking my Xbox to college and they like it or not. I'm just going to sneak it out. The one thing I found positive about uh, video games in general is that the uh, uh, friends he has has a common uh, interest and desire and a camaraderie uh, when they get together and it has kind of brought uh, a group of kids together oh, yeah. under kind of a common banner and I do like that uh, that part of it but how do you keep it from going too far we've yet to find the answer to that it's probably just a generational gap thing they do seem, all, all the kids seem to do it. They enjoy it. They have fun. And they seem to be really good at it. When we were little, all we had was Pong. You had a little stick and a little ball, and that was about it. Yeah, but we didn't trash talk in Pong, though. <laughs> they trash talk today. That is true. There's little kids that curse at him from different languages around the world. That could be a problem. <laughs>